Hi, I'm Jill Lawless in the AP London Bureau, uh, where the polls have been closed for about three hours now, and the situation is, I guess you could say, wildly unclear. Um, the early indications from uh, polls conducted today and from what the markets were doing were that the Remain side in the referendum would come out on top, and we saw the pound shoot up to uh, a high of about $1.50, um, which was the highest it's been in months. Um, since then, when the actual results have started to come in, the picture's a bit different. Uh, we've seen a couple of the bigger urban centres in the north of England, Sunderland and Newcastle, uh, be much worse for Remain than had been anticipated. Um, the Leave vote seems to be stronger in a lot of areas than people have predicted. Um, it's still too early. I mean, there only have been about half a million votes counted so far, so it's far too early to say who will win, but it's fair to say the markets have been spooked. The pound fell by six cents in less than half an hour. Um, it's, it's gone back up a little bit, but basically what's going to happen is anyone's guess.